everyone. This is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. My voice is coming back. I'm so happy. <laughs> and I am feeling better. And thank you for all the well wishes. It was really sweet of everybody. So um, today's Spotlight Friday video is going to be spotlighting our Stitch Shapes framelits. These are my go-to very favorite framelits now. <laughs> at this point I don't know I just really love the stitching on them and I've, I've really been wanting these for a long time so I'm super excited that we finally got them so this is a set right here and it comes in the ovals squares and circles and today I'm going to just share a cute uh, a neat little trick on how to get a little bit more out of these framelits so I want to show you just some examples this is our square see if I can get the stitching in there so you can see how um, pretty that is I hope you can see that here's the white this one will probably show up a little bit better and then that's the oval and here's a circle and this is in crumb cake so you can see it just adds so much more than just using a circle oval or a square and then I'm going to just show you this little example right here of this card but you can see how just having a square on there this little stitching adds just so much more to it so this is a very simple card and I by the way I use this using our um, free celebration set and it's this Avant Garden this is one of my favorite that we got in here I didn't get it at first of one of my first choices but then I got it later and I really love it though this is all the background stamp and that stamp is from that alright so let's get started I want to show you how to use your largest you can use any of them actually but I'm going to show you how to use the largest um, squ stitch square and use it in a little bit of a different way so I need to bring my big shot up here and I'm going to show you how to make a cute little treat bag really quickly well maybe not quickly but <laughs> it's really cute all right so this is how what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to extend these then just a simple little square so you just set your framelit down here and what I like to do is to keep it straight is to just draw a line here on both sides before you send it through this is just going to line up line up your second piece now we're going to put your um, magnetic platform and then one of your plates and then this plate comes on top but you stop it just above this point here you don't want it cutting that so we're just going to run it through like that I have to kind of hold it still okay and then we're going to run that through and that is only going to cut one part it's not going to cut it all the way through so you'll see that in just a minute so it's just cut like that and then we're going to turn it around and we're going to line this back up with your little lines and this right here you are going to I'm going to try to get it as straight as I can because I'm not over it. You are going to put this, set this part a little bit past that because you don't want it to cut the center out. And I'm just lining up my pencil marks. And we're going to put this back in here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to line it up to that very edge there. We're not going to cut that. And we're just going to send it through like that. So now, when we pull it out, we are going to have a bigger piece like that. So in that neat, you can use it and make it larger. And you can stamp on this and use it on a card, or I'm going to show you in a minute, as soon as we make the other one, we're going to do the exact same thing again, and I'm going to show you again so you get it so I'm going to go ahead and lay this down again and I'm going to draw a pencil by the way this is a three inch piece 
So you can make this little treat box out of one eight and a half by 11. And then we're gonna line this up again right to the edge there. And we are gonna send it through. So this is just another way to get more from your framelits. So we're going to turn it around. I'm going to line it up again. Make Let this piece be past where the ending is here. So you got to kind of overlap it a hair. Line up your pencil marks. And then do the exact same thing. Line up up to the edge. Right there. I just use that as my little mark and then we're going to send it through again. So you can make it as long as you want. Sometimes you'll have it like the edge right here, but all you do will stay connected. That's okay. You just clip it tiny thing right there. And a tiny one right there. You can make these even shorter by overlapping more. Okay, so that's how you use that square. You can use it with any of your squares. And now we have two pieces that are the same size. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you really quickly how to make this cute little tree box using these. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a piece that is four and a half or four and a quarter by seven. I need my school scoring tool here. We are going to score this, and on the four and a half inch side, we're going to score it at one. And at three and a quarter. Make these straight. And then we're going to turn it and we're going to score it at three. And four. And that's it. So I'm going to show you what we'll do here next. We are going to cut up these score marks here. Cut a little bit out from the middle, your little V, so it makes it easier to close up your box. And we're going to do the same on this side. I hope I did this right because this one side looks a little bit wider for some reason. Maybe I got my measurement off here. Let me check. Yep, I did. So this is one and a quarter, and this is one, so I just need to chop off a quarter of an inch there. So, let's see if I maybe measured that wrong. Nope, it's four and a quarter. I measured it wrong the first time. Alright, so that's it. The measurement is seven by four and a quarter and then you're going to score at one and three quarters one and then three and one quarter and then on the seven inch side you're going to score it at three and four and it's, this is just making our little box I'm going to grab some fast fuse really quick we're going to put some on each side here I'll have all the measurements um, up when I Post the video. So we're lining up the edges. And that's going to be our little box. We're going to put adhesive on this side. Make sure it's either fast fuse or your tear and tape. We are going to take one piece and we're going to lay it down on here and I usually just use the stitching as a little bit of a, a mark 
And then we're going to take the other one and line that on the other side. We're going to use our little half inch circle punch. Hold the ends together. Then you can punch these either one at a time or you can punch, punch them together. I'm going to punch a hole in there. This is Flirty Flamingo, by the way, if you're wanting to know what color it is. I'm going to use some Flirty Flamingo ribbon, and we are going to tie a knot in the top. If you um, get my, my newsletter, I made a really small one. If you subscribe to my newsletter on my blog, you usually get, each month I usually put a free um, tutorial on there. For either a card or a box. I should have not wasted so much of this, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. We're just tying a knot. So go to my blog and sign up for my newsletter, and you will get exclusive projects. And I made a little Easter one this for this month. We're going to go ahead and bring up the big shot one more time. And I am going to, let me hang on a second here and stamp our uh, pieces here. And what I'm using here this time is this uh, window shopping. And you've seen me use this before. I'm using the window shopping and the thinking of you. So I'm going to use some flirty flamingo. Forgot about stamping my pieces. And we're going to stamp that. I love when it's monochromatic. Lately, I'm really on a monochromatic kick. And then um, you're going to also need a piece of 3 inch by 3 quarter inch. And this is for our sentiment, thinking of you. And we're going to stamp that again. And hopefully I'm going to get this straight because I am not looking over it. Up. Oh, let's do the other side. I love that we have two sides. <laughs> if you mess up like that, you have the other side. Part of my head if it gets in the way, but I really do need to see here. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now we're ready to bring the big shot up here. And I am going to run two more of the square framelits. I'm going to use the second smallest for the this little piece here. We're going to cut that out using that. And then I'm just going to run a piece um, with the next largest. So let's run that through there. Get the big shot out of the way. So then we're going to have our little base piece. And you can see a difference when it's got the stitching. It just adds so much to it. That's why I just love these. Okay, so let's scoot these out of the way and put our box together. All right, so I am going to bring the box back in here really quickly. I'm going to get some snow. And um, I use dimensionals on this one. So let me grab my dimensionals. All right, so I'm going to put one dimensional on the back here. We're going to pop that up, center that. And then I am going to grab, I already used part of this doily. These are our new um, lace doilies. And this is very vanilla on one side and whisper white on the other and all I did was I laid it down here because I wanted part of it to show and then I just cut so you can do two from one of these doilies and I did banner end the ends of this um, I like doing it with my banner punch but I don't have it right here so you can do it by hand. So 
So we're going to banner that. I'm going to add some snail on the back. And we're going to line that back up. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals. I got some overlapping here. I'm going to cut off. I'm going to use a couple more dimensionals on the back. Actually, I'm going to put my adhesive on the back here. I'm going to use some fast fuse. We're going to put this on the box. And then we'll put the other dimensionals on the back here. And we're going to just set this in the center. And that's it. So you have your little box just using an extension, extending your square stitched framelits. And the circles and ovals, you'll love these. Um, they're super, super nice. I am just in love with them. So here's the two boxes that I created. I thought they were really, really cute. So I hope you like it. And um, if you need any supplies, you're going to go to my blog as usual at stampingwiththemore.com and shop right from my blog. I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed Spotlight Friday today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.